The third season of the television show Lock and Key is now running, following the exploits of Tyler, Kinsey, and Bode Lock. How long, though, will such adventures last? Fans of Lock and Key already know whether or not there will be a fourth season of the program because Netflix has already made the show's future known. Here is all we know about the show's future and what its creators have stated about what will happen to it. Will Lock and Key return for a fourth season? Sorry, Key House lovers, season four will be the Lock family's last appearance. Therefore, the program won't be returning. The bulk of Netflix series only last three or four seasons, unless they are juggernauts like Stranger Things, so a three-season run has been very average. There are several causes for this, but one important one is that Netflix is a subscriber-based company. Shows stop attracting new subscribers beyond a certain point, which makes sense to anybody who has considered starting a program only to be discouraged by how much they have already missed. But according to the program's creators, they chose to stop Lock and Key after Season 3. Co-showrunners Carlton Cuse and Meredith Averill issued a statement at the time the show's cancellation was announced, saying, Once we started working on the series, we felt three seasons was the ideal length to bring the story of the Lock family and their Key House adventures to a satisfying conclusion. As storytellers, we are happy to have had the chance to present our interpretation of Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez's amazing tale in the manner we saw fit. However, we're retaining the magical keys for our own use. Despite the fact that they may chose to adapt many other comic book series, this stance stands. Over the course of its five-year, 37-issue first run, the Joe Hill, Gabriel Rodriguez comic comprises six distinct series arcs. However, it appears that those stories will continue to appear on the page. In truth, the cast has long since left the program. Season 3's filming was finished in the fall of 2021. In fact, some members of the cast have already started working on new roles. For instance, Coda, the film that won Best Picture at the 2022 Oscars, earned Amelia Jones a BAFTA nomination earlier in 2022. As an executive producer on the upcoming Apple TV Plus series Five Days at the Memorial, and a new TV adaptation of the cult classic The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, co-showrunner Carlton Cuse has also moved on to other TV projects. Will there be a sequel or film to Lock and Key? An adaptation of Lock and Key for the big screen now seems improbable given how long the first one took to go from page to screen. When you think about how the tale concludes in Season 3's concluding episode, Season 4 also seems like a far-off fantasy. If preparations are made to continue or even reboot the plot on film, there is enough of source material to pull from. Of course, the Sandman should also be taken into account. Lock and Key, Sandman, Hell and Gone, a crossover between these two properties, was created in 2021 by IDW Publishing and DC. With the approval of Neil Gaiman, Joe Hill, the author of Lock and Key, and Gabriel Rodriguez created Hell and Gone, a connection between one of the Lock ancestors and Roderick Burgess, the man who imprisoned Morpheus for the most of the 20th century. Although a full-fledged crossover would not be conceivable on screen, Season 1 of The Sandman had a surprising amount of references to the larger DC world, so it wouldn't be too difficult to work in some lock and key easter eggs as well. That won't happen anytime soon, but you can never rule out a different sort of spin-off or movie relaunch for Lock and Key's larger future on the big screen. It's remarkable how Joe and Gabriel continually finding new ways to broaden the scope and depth of Lock and Key. As IDW editor Chris Ryle once said, we thus believe that Lock and Key will soon return to us in a whole new version as the franchise continues to grow. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.